say enough is enough. I'm gonna perform a couple poems for you guys. The first one's called To Exist is to Resist. In my mind, I freed Palestine. Envision the dream that just needs to be seen. Olive trees in ecstasy. Orange groves that lead to our roads. No blocks filled with cops, no ten-year-old shop. Freedom is what I got. I understand my grandmother's plan to live on her bot and paid for land. And though it isn't in her hands, it remains in her heart. Every time another's killed, we go back to the start. 1948, the date they make us remember the star and scars of David. And we're the ones who've hated. We've been raped and berated by bullets and forced immigration, squatting and settling, left wrestling with the best Zionism has to offer. And while the U.S. fills its coffers, we're seen as monsters. Our people blow up in pain, black-eyed and half insane. Wouldn't you be if an Israeli bullet penetrated your child's brain? I vision Palestine my mind with the chosen, frozen in time to realize their morality's blind to take back generations of crime and put an end to apartheid. How many kids sit and wish they could be labeled other than a terrorist? To exist is to resist, read the graffiti in their cities. Give them chalk instead of rocks, they'll use the blackboards if you let them go to school. Give them chalk instead of rocks and said you bulldoze their blocks. Destroy their homes. Palestine is what you call the no building zone. But you can't bulldoze our minds. Every time we'll ride to the ashes like Cassius Clay will bob and weave for infinity. There's no divinity in bombing our cities, setting up committees to treat us differently. We're from Palestine, the land where dreams are made. There's nothing brave about oppressing. We'll count and multiply our blessings. So remember just one thing. One day the bells of freedom will ring. And you'll see me smiling, loving life in Palestine. Woo! One more poem. Like Anthony Arnaud said, I think it's, you have to understand the, the global struggle. This next poem is called Free Yourself, and it's about the global struggle. When the anti-war movement refused to include Palestine because it would undermine the cause, I said screw the anti-war movement. Yeah. This society will never see improvement if there are restrictions on justice. Because if that gay man, environmentalist, or feminist doesn't give a damn about Immigration Day, they can't expect anyone to relate to their cause. Until we realize that Sudanese is Iraqi, Canadian is Mexican, American is Iranian, the sins of empires and agendas driven by rich men, not regular citizens, will continue the vision of global warming. The war on Islam is the war on poverty. As the West attacks ghettoized societies, we hear the screams of those that perished in New Orleans. We hear the shrieks and massacres in Jenin. As West Village mothers dress their babies in Che Guevara onesies, a raped college girl crawls to her phone to call home. And while black males make up 40% of the prison population, class regulation gets white kids in Colorado a slap on the wrist for class A substance. But Compton kids, they get three to five for the same crime. If we can't all see the connection in our lives, then nobody can cry when their child dies. Because empathy is the only thing that can rectify this tragedy. Not war, not free trade, not the capitalistic way. The can't throw our minds into the candy today. So go out and free Palestine, free Lebanon, free Iraq, free Afghanistan and Sudan, free embargoes and sanctions. Free ourselves from the hell we've created. Yeah.